Okay, everybody, so I bought this motor last week. I was told it was a 5.3 liter from the guy I bought it from. Said it came out of a 2001 Tahoe. I took his word for it, brought it home. Um, the only thing is, I like to know things for myself to be 100% certain as to what I've got. So I started checking on the internet and there's really no way to tell what motor you have just by looking at the outside, apparently. Because on the back, it's stamped 4.8 slash 5.3, as you can see there. Uh, there's some talk of dished pistons. And I took a look inside and I have dis dished pistons. But I also heard some rumors that, you know, that may or may not be accurate. Then I heard you could look at this tab here on the side of the block, between the head and the block. And that would tell you what size it is. However, this looks corroded and I can't tell. So, the next step was to remove the oil pan and take a look at the crank. So I've got that, because apparently this is the only 100% sure definitive answer as to what you've got. So I've got this pulled open. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to get you to see that. But what you're looking for is a number stamped just on the back side. Oh, there we go. That's pretty good, actually. See, this is the first set of pistons. It's just behind the first set of pistons. And you're looking for a number, I think this is 12552216. Kind of hard to see, but that's the number you're looking for. If it's the 2216 two number, it is in fact a 5.3. So it does appear that this motor is in fact a 5.3 liter LS style. Chevy Vortec truck motor, which is exactly what I wanted to go in that bad boy right there. Uh, doing some work to the Corvette today as well, but that is going in that truck. So I just wanted to kind of give you a quick tutorial slash heads up on how to identify exactly which motor you're getting to be certain uh, what you're actually picking up. Now, obviously, had this been a 4.8, I would be a little bit screwed at this point because I've already bought it. But there's not that much difference between a 4.8 and a 5.3. You could just change some pistons around, change your stroke length and stuff like that, and get it to a 5.3 if you had a 4.8. There's also not a lot of uh, difference in power, so I wouldn't have been too upset. I got the motor for pretty cheap. I got this complete engine with all the stuff that you see here, computer, alternator, exhaust, motor mounts, power steering pump, and a few of the brackets that go on the motor as well for $400. So I think I did pretty well. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of my channel. I'm going to be um, uploading other videos in regards to this project as well. So uh, keep an eye out.